Hello and welcome to the new ordering system. This system runs with the CRM database Salesforce. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. As the name might express, this program will allow us to better manage both your orders, your account, and it will also help create an efficient way for you to place orders through Cradles to Crowns. Okay, let's get started. After a Cradles to Crowns representative activates your account, you should receive an email that looks like this one. This is your welcome email. In this email, it will provide you with a link, which will take you to a page in which you will create a password for your new account. Please note that this link will expire after 24 hours. If you click on the link and receive a notice like this one, Please do not fear. Your link has expired, but you should get in touch with your Cradles to Crowns representative so that they can send you a new link. Once you have successfully created a password, your account will be up and running and ready for use. Please note that the link you received in order to create a password is not the link you will use to get to the login page. We highly recommend that you bookmark this URL so that you can easily access the login page at your convenience. Now we're ready to log into the account. Drum roll, please. You can click the box down here so that the account will remember both your username and password. And here we are. Let's get to know the new system. At the top right side of your screen, you will see two buttons. The first, represented by a house, when clicked will always take you back to this home page. The second, round button, now illuminated, will log you out of your account. Over to the top left side of your screen, you will find two tabs. When the profile tab is selected, you will be able to view your contact information. You will not have the ability to edit any of this information, so if you need to make an update, please contact your Cradles to Crowns representative. When the Orders tab is selected, you will be able to view your program's order history. You are able to modify this view through this drop-down here. You can select to view just your emergency orders, your orders ready for pickup, if there are multiple account holders for your program, you will be able to view all of the program's orders, all orders ready for pickup, and all emergency requests. Let's take a look now at the sidebar to the left. The first column, order level, will be filled in when applicable. Below that, you will find the link for placing an order for a kid pack. This column messages and alerts will be filled in with information that's relevant to you by your Cradles to Crowns representative. Okay, we're ready now to place an order. Find the link kid pack. Okay, we're looking at page one now of the ordering menu. It's first going to ask you whether or not the order you are placing is an emergency. What this means is that there is a critical need. Maybe there was a fire or a flood. Maybe there's a mom who's having a new baby in the next few days but has nothing for the child. If this order is an emergency, you will first check the box, Emergency Order. You will then choose an emergency type from the drop-down here. It's also very helpful if you provide us a reason for the emergency. If the order is not an emergency, you can skip this top section entirely and move down to Child Info. Here in the Child Info section, you will provide us with the child's first and last name, their age, gender, a home zip code, a parent or guardian's first and last name, it is also very helpful if you provide us with the child's story. Child stories 
are essential for the developmental needs of our organization. We are now asking that you provide us with the last name of the child being served, as well as the last name of the guardian. This is really for reporting purposes. Last names will be saved in our database, but will not be shared with the general public. The last section on page one is for pickup information. We ask you for the name of the person who will be picking up the order, their email address, and telephone number. The system has a great memory and should automatically populate these three sections with the same information as your last entry. While the pickup information is only used internally by Cradles to Crown staff and does not appear on the order form, the location piece will appear on the order form for your convenience. The location can be used to provide the details about where this order is being dropped off at, example, the Ambler or Fort Washington site. It can also be used to provide the name of the case manager who has this child in their caseload. Now that the first page is filled in, we will click Save and Next to move on to page two. Two is for requesting items in particular sizes for the child. First, you will use the checkbox to select the item you wish to add to the order. Then, using the drop down, you will select the particular size or age range that the child needs. Over here to the right, you can put in additional comments about the item. For example, the mom likes the color blue. If this child has a birthday coming up within the next month or two, you may request a birthday gift. To do so, you will check the box birthday gift. You will then select the date of their upcoming birthday. To the right, you can leave us any notes that we might need. Once you've completed the information regarding the child's needs, click save and next to move on to page three. On page three is where you will place requests for baby equipment and items from our nursery. Based upon the age of the child you are placing in order for, certain items will appear under the section labeled baby gear. To request baby equipment, you will check the box next to the item itself. If this item comes in multiple sizes, there will be a drop down and you will select the appropriate size for that child. At times, there may be items temporarily available to order. If that's the case, you will find them in this drop-down here. To order, you will check the box and choose the item from the drop-down. At this time, there are none. Let's scroll down now to nursery items. Nursery items will include bedding for a crib or bassinet, diaper bags, baby carriers, bathtubs, and newborn health kits. To order a nursery item, first you will check the box, Nursery. You will then choose the item you're looking for from the drop down to the right. To add more nursery items, click Add More. Once you are finished, click Save and Next. Page 4 will allow you to review your order before submitting it to Cradles to Crowns. In this top section here, you will find the child's info and pick up information. Please verify that this information is correct. Down below, you will find the items that you've requested for this particular child as well as the sizes. Please make sure this information is accurate. Over here to the right, you'll be able to view any comments you have left for Cradles to Crowns. 
these comments will appear on the order form. If there were any mistakes and you need to make an edit, you can press back. At any point in this ordering process, the back button will take you back to the previous page and the information will be saved. If the order is in its final state, you can either press Submit and New, which will take you back to page one to place another order, or simply Submit, which will take you back to your home screen. Let's press Submit and New. Voila! Back now on the home screen, we can verify that the order we recently placed for Trey was submitted. While we're here, let's define what each of these statuses mean. An order with the status submitted means that this was an order placed recently. In this stage, you still have the ability to edit the order as well as cancel it. When an order has the status ready for pickup, this means that the order has been packed and is on the shelf waiting for you. During this stage, you should receive an email notifying you that your order is ready. After you've come to the warehouse to pick up an order, the status next to that order should be changed to picked up. When an order has the status new, not yet submitted, this means that the order has not yet been submitted to Cradles to Crowns. A new status will appear when you've started to place an order, but you never finished. The order will remain in this draft stage until officially submitted. To officially submit the order, you will need to press Edit, walk through page 1 through 4 of the ordering process, on page 4 where you review the order, once it's correct, you will select Submit. You will then see this status change to Submitted. While an order has this new, not yet submitted status, you still have the ability to make edits, as well as cancel the order. Let's check out the new feature, Add Sibling. Choosing to add sibling will create an exact replica of an order that was previously placed. However, it will not override the original order. You can choose to add sibling during any order status. This feature will be especially helpful when placing orders for families with multiple children. For example, if you're placing an order for a family of five where the children share the same last name, guardian info, and zip code, you can simply press Add Sibling to create a clone of a previous order. So that information will remain the same, and you will simply have to go in and make edits appropriate to each child. and hopefully that will save you some time. We are now finished the presentation of the new ordering system. Thank you so much for your cooperation as we move into this new phase of Cradles to Crowns. If you do have any questions at any point, please do not hesitate to get in touch with your Cradles to Crowns representative and they will be glad to help you.